Hi, I'm Phil Parker. I'm the author of the 10 questions to ask for success. And today I'm going to be talking about the second question. Whenever you start a project, one of the obvious questions you have to ask is what do I actually want? Problem is, although it's very simple, an obvious a question, most people either don't ask it or they answer it in completely the wrong way that ensures disaster. The most common way to misanswer this question is to tell people or tell yourself what you don't want. If your response to what do I want in my future is I don't want more of the same, I don't want a crappy job, I don't want to have a bad relationship, I don't want to have all this stress and anxiety or chaos or disaster in my life. And unfortunately, because of the way the brain works, that's exactly what you'll tend to produce and create in your life. Because your brain is set on a course by those statements. If you say, I don't want chaos, all your brain thinks about is chaos. And unfortunately, neurologically, the more you exercise one part of your brain, just like a muscle, becomes stronger and more dominant. So if you think about what you don't want all the time, that's what will tend to turn up in your life. Classically, the example of this is, if I ask you to not think about Elvis Presley juggling 12 purple monkeys, guess what pops in your mind immediately? Second chapter of the book of the 10 question really looks at how do we get our brain, our neurology, working for us? How do we ask and answer this question properly? And actually, although it's a simple question, it's incredible how complex it is to get clear answers to this. And most of us need a lot of training, but with training, like with those muscles, we can become geniuses at starting to create fabulous futures. So ask yourself, what do I want? What do I really want in my life? And make sure you're answering it in positives. What do I really want? Start to dream that dream, and then you can start to step into that future and have it.